In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do a simple hot reload similar to how you do in Flutter in Python's Kiwi MD as well as Python's Kiwi core package. Let's get this video started. All right, guys. So for this video, I'm going to be creating something called as MD Live Kaki. I'll tell you why I've uh, named this this way, because we're going to be using a tool called as Kaki uh, that has been de developed as an open source tool uh, that actually takes care of uh, doing a hot reload similar to hot reload uh, with respect to our Kiwi application itself. Like I showed in the intro, you can do a simple hot reload by just having to set up your project in similar way that uh, su such a way that this Kaki can pick it up and in turn build your projects on the fly. So what do you need for this? First things first, you need to install, have your Kiwi as well as Kiwi MD installed uh, because there's a slight variation with respect to how you can make the Kiwi MD also work. And uh, on top of that, you also need to install the Kaki itself. So just do a pip install Kaki. Make sure that you're on 3.5 plus uh, for Python version. Only then this will work. And once you're done, it's saying mine is already installed and hope you also do the same thing. So next step we're going to do is that once you have the Kiwi uh, Kaki installed, we're going to be creating a main.py file. And uh, let's say that you've already created a project let's say your project is already created and you want to in, uh, put this uh, hot reload stuff inside your project you can similarly uh, you can just do a simple uh, main.py or create an input file and where you will always have that as a runner rather than your other files so just create a main.py file and first thing you're going to do is say from say from kaki.app you're going to import that app like me you're going to import the kaki own app and once you have the kaki app just go and create a simple class i'll call it as uh, for this example i'll call this uh, md live kaki I just call it as MD Live, MD Live and import that app and use that to inherit my class. So the couple of things that you need to have as part of the uh, Kaki or have your uh, project set up with Kaki is that you need to give two things for it. You need to say what are the auto reload path or what are the auto reload pi files that you need. And on top of that, you also need to say what or how do you want to include these files. So these are two basic uh, things that you need to say for this to automatically pick things up. Only if you put uh, the pi files as part of this in in this variable you'll be able to reload it all right so the first uh, variable that you'll be using is the classes uh, classes variable in this variable you're going to be saying that you need to have the class name here I'm sorry, you need to have the class name here followed by what is the path for the class name here. So you don't have any other any classes as part of our project yet. Let's say that there was this uh, class sim something similar to this. Let's say I have a, a my old project is uh, inside this place. I'll call it as probably uh, live application. And this is my location, right? I have my first file or my uh, screen manager file in this file call is uh, probably uh, screen uh, UI or something like this. So this is going to be my main file and it's inside my live.app and uh, we're going to actually have our base class here we say uh, from uh, we we'll just say class um, screen UI and you're going to be using the widget or we're going to be using the widget as our base one and let's quickly import that as well give you UX widget and we have our basic stuff created inside this all right this is going to be our structure of our class so what you'll say here is that uh, the class name is screen UI and it's inside the location called as live app dot screen UI so this is going to be the location where it should go to and what is the class name that is present inside that file so this is the first variable that you definitely definitely need the second variable you will need is actually called as the auto reloader Parts. So what are the auto reloader parts? By default, what you can do is uh, it's actually going to take a uh, it's going to take a, a, an, a string of data or it's going to take a list of data. What you would be saying is that you'll be doing recursively include everything that you find here. So it's a recursive uh, is true. So what actually happens here is that it says recursively include everything that you find. Uh, do not worry about it. Take every path that you find and uh, load my application. So this is it. This is basically it. And what you'll do now is just say dev build app. You'll be actually overriding the build app. Once you override the build app, as you can say, it says the first is equal to false. So what exactly this first means is that if your application is building for the very first time, this variable will be set. After that, it will just be false. So you don't need this actually. Basically here, we'll just put it as args basically. And we'll just do a print statement to see if it's coming 
running inside so it says inside build app auto reload so so every time you come inside the build app and your this print statement is completed we need to now return the factory or the entire application itself the entire application's ui so what we do for that is just from kiwi dot factory you will import the factory class and factory means that it's actually going to be a a, a collection of uh, basically a collection of classes so right so just say factory return factory uh UI. So that's pretty much it. You're saying uh, every time this application loads, uh, make sure that you're including these classes, you're including all the parts inside it, and the build app should fire and return my entire application itself. And you'll just say now MD live of just override the run method itself and you're pretty much done now i'll show you guys how this works by first of all trying to run this application or how you run is very 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 important you need to run this in such a way that you're running it from your terminal and not like doing a right click and running it directly without including a very important uh, environment variable the environment variable is called as debug is equal to one and you say python 3 and you will run this application which is main.py when you run this application it automatically says okay there is no unknown class ui because we have named it a screen ui so we need to make sure that this application is starting that such a way all right if you if you saw how it worked as soon as i saved it as soon as i saved it it automatically reloaded my application it's actually an empty application now so we are very close to actually making this entire thing hot reload right when you save this application it should run so let's let's say let's do a change here let's say auto reload 2 and we will have the application as soon as you see if you see the if you see the terminal here uh, auto reload 2 came up and we are very close to doing a proper reload now we need to just try and work with our um, basically our ui and see if it does it does change so let's say that this works fine now let's uh, this is working fine for a base kiwi app class but how do you include your kiwi md class this is, this is something that i faced myself this is something that this khaki is not actually uh, going to help you with um, but there's a very simple way to fix it so if you want to reload an M md app also which is a material design application uh, material design uh, tool or i would say a wrapper that is written for kiwi you all you need to do is make sure that in your screen ui okay you're going to be returning a widget totally fine let's build something here for example so that we will know for sure how that works so what i'm going to be doing is that uh, in this space i'm going to be actually importing a screen so i want to have a screen here and i want to uh, inherit a screen import this name i want it from my kiwi ux screen manager screen that's true Alright, so I have the screen here and what I'm going to be doing is that inside this I'm going to be doing an init right inside the init I'll just say super of uh, init obviously and what I'm going to do inside this init is I'm going to build an MD flat button so I'll just say MD flat button and I'll be building this MD flat button and make sure to import this it's asking md flat button it should be rectangle yeah this is this is what i want so i have the kiwi md uix flat button and it's actually importing the flat button and i'm going to be saying inside this text is equal to hello or i'll say this is an auto reload application and i'll just say the pause hint is equal to center x which is going to be 0.5 and the center y is going to be 0.5 as well all right so what exactly we have is an md flat button that's going to take a base rectangular button all right this is going to be what i want i'll just say self dot add widget i'll just the md flat button also this this is done basically this is added and we should be probably able to see this on the screen right but when you save this up it throws an error saying that kiwi md app object must be inherited from a kiwi md md app so why does this exactly happen now what happens is that when you're creating a factory it is having a base class as an app that is in turn being overridden by this khaki application or the khaki tool that we just now used so this will never work for your kiwi md unless you do this very small minor change what you're going to do is that you just say from uh, kiwi md dot app you just import the uh, md app 
and use that as a multiple inheritance for our base md live application so you just say app comma make sure that base class is going to be still the kaki app but you're also going to be using the md app here so what happens is that md app in in turn has its own app and kiwi uh, the the kaki app in turn also has its base app so no kind of an uh, a clash or nothing uh, no wrong import will happen all you need to do is just say m app comma md app and probably you have fixed this for your application so just save this up now and you can see for yourself how this is actually auto re auto reloading so this is actually an md application and it's actually auto reloading so i'll just do another change as well i'll say kiwi i'll just do a quick change which is kiwi core dot window i'll import the window itself and i'm just going to set a uh, window dot size is equal to just for our application to just look a little bit cooler right i want to set it to 360 comma 540 i'm probably uh, shrinking the entire application size or the entire app size to about a size of the uh, this itself so this is how it's going to look like for us and i'll probably put it right about here all right so our application is right here we can save this up we can see how it works and i'll go back to the screen ui i'll probably uh, change the name to uh, simple button right i'll save this up and as you can see it auto reloading immediately there so we did fix it for the uh, kiwi md also this used to work very very well for kiwi but there was a little bit of an issue in the middle as to what will it work for your windows will it work for your ubuntu and will it work for your mac now this is actually working pretty much fine for everything yes it, it does have few bugs and also you need to tailor it every single time for your project this is not like a one-time setup that you do you need to tailor it for your project every single time you create it and as you can see i have created a factory dot screen ui let's see there is multiple uh, screen screens added you need to understand that uh, let's say that you are creating a complete application you need to have an entry point to the application right you will be using that application as your factory rather than using something else so let's say that you have 10 different classes here even if you have 10 different classes here you still need to have an entry point into your application and that class should be used as the factory and only then this will auto reload the entire application so make sure to have that in mind and uh, that's pretty much it what i wanted to show you guys so we, we do have an auto reload we can play with it we can change it and it's actually amazing to uh, work with so we have something very similar to building for flutter as well and this is what i want to show you guys as part of this video so if you like this video make sure to drop a like i also want to share you the person who made this kaki application so this kaki application is a very simple um, background is that the kaki application uses internally the watchdog is actually a tool that waits for any change in a class so he this person is his name is tito i'll drop a link to the github link for that this specific uh, project just check it out it's amazing uh, very very few people know about it but it's amazing that he created it it's been there for over three years now just check it out and you will see that uh, it uses a watchdog service uh, which is actually something where used for uh, monitoring any change in a class file so if there is any change in the class file this uh, kaki in turn takes and rebuilds the application from the back up from the scratch so that's pretty much how this entire thing is working right now and you can see that it's actually very well well written and there are a few other methods also where you can control the rebuild where you can control uh, the build application itself and that's what we did right now that's you can see uh, what I'm, you can go inside and see what i'm talking about so that's pretty much how you should be doing it um if you have any doubts drop any questions in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer i'll meet you guys in the next video thanks again for tuning in and thanks bharat peace out have super awesome day